Let's get into iCast, your freaking awesome replays. It is time for the New Year's Resolutions Challenge, which I'm super excited for because the whole point with this challenge was players had to, at the start of the game, type in chat a New Year's Resolution, which was a mono battle challenge to build only a specific unit. And uh, they were meant to follow that mono battle. And then from the 10 minute mark onwards, they were meant to basically abandon that challenge and do whatever the fuck they want. Just like going to the gym first week of January. Everyone goes and then they stop and they still keep paying for the rest of the year because they don't want to face up to the fact that they actually can't be fucked going to the gym. It's not their thing. It's kind of boring. They're not that into it. But, uh, you know, they'll keep paying the gym. That's their, their guilt payment for the rest of the year. Likewise here, uh, of course, Salon has said, I resolve to make more queens this year. And uh, Void Stalker up here says, good goal. For those of you who don't know, a mono battle is a challenge where you are not allowed to build any combat units or any unit, basically, even 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 healing and support units. Basically, no units except workers, st any structure, workers, and uh, and the unit of choice. So Salon is literally just going to have to go mass queen. It's going to have to get a ton of hatcheries up. It's going to go early gas. I guess maybe it's going to go really fast 1-1 one -one upgrades for the mass queen because you're not going to go link speed or anything. Could go 1-1 one, one queens, I guess. Normally, you'd see people go like 3 or 4 hatch really early and just mass queen and drone off this. We'll see how Salon does it. Uh, if you guys want to get your replays in for next week, by the way, the challenge is split like Maru. So, guys, get your gymnastics out. Get your, uh, get some, get some, get stretching. Do some yoga. Get flexible. Especially stretch those wrists because I want you to micro better than you ever have before. Play some micro heavy strats. Try some hardcore micro. Um, that could be, oh, I'm going to do a speed prism disruptor drop, which I've never done before. I want you guys to push yourself outside of the box. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's not going to be perfectly executed. Doesn't matter if it's a hard strat. The whole point is I want all of you to step outside of your comfort zone. Try some cool shit. Maybe you go pure marine against Zerg and you're trying to like focus fire and split marines and like just drop all over the place and do all sorts of cool shit there's a thousand ways you could play this challenge so indulge your creativity uh do some cool shit which maybe you normally steer away from because you're like oh that's too hard i'm not good enough to do that don't be a little bitch get out there and fucking do it so send your replays in uh as always you can find the info for the up-to-date ic fire challenge no matter what time you're watching this you could be watching this months from now on youtube and that means there's a different challenge at the moment of course go to my twitch chat twitch.tv forward slash x5 underscore pig type exclamation I-C-Y-F-A-R, I-C-F-A-R, uh, which of course is an acronym for I cast your freaking awesome replays. So uh, guys, this is a double factory one base. Are we seeing one base battle mech from Void Stalker with a, thir a third factory one base? Oh my, one tech lab, one reactor. Oh my God, we're going to see like a ton of Hellion Cyclone on one base. Meanwhile, Salorn is like, Queen's a... I mean, they don't take a lot of damage from those units, but they also don't deal a lot. Oh, Widow Mines! Maybe we see some armory and a Drilling Claws, maybe? I don't know, man. Either way, uh, interesting opening here from Void Stalker. And SCV's gonna come in and is like, Yo, what's happening, buddy? Okay, lots of workers, not much else. Meanwhile, these queens are like, I am a combat unit. I don't have to inject. Salon's like, actually, it would really help boost our economy if you could maybe do a lava inject or two. The Queen's like, no, we're combat units. I, uh, I identify as a military unit. I am not a support economic building unit. I am a blue blue collar soldier. Oh, I'll put down creep tumors though. Okay, I'll speed up my own highway, but no in no injects, no 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 injects. Oh, there we go, there we go. She okay. This one here, this is Janice. Janice the Queen, she's the one queen who's not too up herself. She's willing to inject when the others are a bit too greedy. They just want to fight. They just want to save up transfuse and creep tumor energy. Uh, that Marine is killing his own tech lab, guys. That was not blocking anything. I think that was just a mistake. Oh my god. Uh, give us a sec, guys. Back to the Zen Garden and back in game. Been having some disconnects today. Shit's crazy, dog. All right, so we've got Mass Widow Mine. Uh, command Center and two more gases are going down here for Void Stalker. Uh, what the hell is going on? Mass Queen. Uh, did Janice keep injecting, by the way? Janice? Oh, no injects. Even Janice isn't injecting. 
Don't you love queens? They've got like so many of these little hands. They've got these big, very odd claws on their head. You think they'd be better at melee combat with the number of spikes and claws and, and little bitey pincers on them? You think they'd be a little bit better, but they're really not a high damage unit, even in melee. They also seem to have a spiky butt, which is pretty common for Zergs. Spiky butts. I mean, it's just it just seems to be part of the. The MO, Abath is like, yeah, I mean, you gotta, you got to protect your butt. Those SCVs, they'll get in the rear with the gear if you don't watch out, man. <laughs> you got to get some insurance. Apparently, having teeth on your ass is one way to protect against that. Uh, double Evo is down. Lots of gas built up for Salon. Hasn't actually started any yet. Is building macro hatches en masse to get that queen production going. 1-1 one, one upgrades are starting. That's a, a lot of Widow Mines. Um, guys, queens don't kill Widow Mines very well. They can tank a shot, and then you can transfuse them quickly. Oh my god, it's going to be a Nidus Queen. Oh my god, this Perv Perv Lord set up. I don't know if the Queen's going to be able to defend. I mean, the problem with the Widow Mines is they can't actually shoot buildings, but that is a lot of Widow Mines. Uh, 12 Widow Mines up against 7 Queens. Who will win? Janice and her army of Queens. Uh-oh. Run, 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 run. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if Salorn has noticed what's happening. I'm pretty sure Salorn's off macroing. Yeah, Salorn just looked down here. It's like the Queens is like, oh, where'd me Queens go? I'm going to assume this is Janice with one kill. She says, all right, girls, let's retreat. Let's retreat. We need to chill the fuck out. You actually can build spines, by the way, guys. Spines would be kind of amazing versus Widow Mines, since Widow Mines can't shoot them. No! Oh, the babies. The babies. Okay. The queens are trying to stutter step in and out to fight the Widow Mines. I don't... Yeah, they've, they've got the same range. I, I think... Actually, I think a queen has slightly more range because they're fat. I think the edge of them always ends up protruding out into, into Widow Mine range. I don't know if you can outrange Widow Mines. The Widow Mines are just slowly creeping forwards here. They're like, yeah, you like spreading creep on the map? We like spreading Widow Mines. I feel like Void Stalker could just uproot them and just walk in and burrow on the base. But for some reason is respecting these two queens, Janice and fucking Beverly. Now, Janice and Beverly still do fuck all damage, and these Widow Mines have finally realized... No, they're burrowing the drone line. Why are you burrowing? You can't shoot... <laughs> I'm not sure if Void Stalker understands how Widow Mines work. It's like, shoot the hatchery! Yeah! It's like, wait, they don't shoot buildings? Huh. Why? No, go in. Just go kill them. Go kill... Okay, Salorn is get, being given a moment of respite here. Is starting to mass spines in the high ground. As I said, that's exactly what's needed. The Widow Mines come forward. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. One Queen somehow gets out of there. The Widow Mines never want to double up, so they won't all stack their shots on one Widow Mine. They'll wait for one to fire, and then another one will track onto that same Queen. As you can see, they kind of take turns there. Ooh. So it's once one starts firing, the other one starts tracking onto it. And these queens are going down. The spine's almost ready. The Widow Mines could just run past and get in the mineral line and win the game. The Widow Mines could just run past and get in the mineral line and win the game. But they are instead going to stand there and get tentacled. Oh my god. Some deep penetration on those Widow Mines. Void Stalker still doesn't know that there's a hatchery that's fully mining up there. The spines are going to try to come down and root. Are the Widow Mines going to figure out the three-dimensional chest that is you can just walk past? They're going to figure Oh god. So the lawn's like, I'll move down and retake my natural. Void Stalk is like, oh, will you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my fucking God. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, 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 God. Oh, fireworks. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. oh Salon's not having a good. You gotta get these drones out of here, buddy. You gotta, you gotta leave yesterday, dude. You, you really gotta. Yeah, just, just, no, no, go to another base. Don't, don't be staying here. Salon's still got a ton of money. And remember that Void Stalker is doing nothing behind this. Hasn't put on gas, hasn't, hasn't made a second orbital, is not building the five command centers that could be built with the money. Instead, let's go to Void Stalker's camera, and uh, I believe we've got a live feed from, live feed from, from Void Stalker's brain. Got a bird, dude, with a mind. The bird, the number. No, no, stare at this. I got 2,000 gas. I select my factories and make more widow mines. Then maybe I'll borrow them and move down here. Hmm. Think my opponent got no drone. At no point will it occur to me to fucking check if there's an expansion somewhere else. I'm gonna just stare at my widow mines. Rather than split them up and go in each base, we just gonna run around. Now I'm gonna unborrow these widow mines. Now I got even more widow mines. We're gonna go back in there. Now look how. 
Ow, stop, stop, stop it, stop it. Ow, 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 ow. It's okay. Now we're gonna borrow, try to kill a queen again. See, there's still no drones mining. We must be winning the video game. At no point am I gonna consider looking at home and spending my money. Building maybe some SCVs, maybe an orbital. No, I don't need to. I'm gonna win with Widow Mines. If I believe in the power of the Widow Mines, maybe they're gonna shoot at the buildings, even though they're physically incapable of tracking onto buildings, because that's not how they work. Um, so if you guys' ears hurt as much as mine after that fucking disgusting look inside Void Stalker's brain, um, he's now transitioning into Hellions, guys, so he's building things that can attack buildings. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Hellions versus um, Spines before. But, I mean, basically, I'm pretty sure uh, Hellions are the literal hard counter to Spine Crawlers. They do bonus damage to light, and Spine Crawlers are armored. According to the law of Florencio, if you get bonus to light damage, um, it actually gets twice as inflicted when you inflict it upon an armored unit. Uh, in the midst of this, by the way, Salorn has decided to build uh, three hatcheries in the top right. Has not been replacing any drones on these bases, though. Salorn could redrone these bases, and they're all safe now. They're all defended. But Salorn instead has dropped down to 12 workers and is saying, well, I've got, I've got minerals in the bank, therefore I don't need to mine any more minerals. I think you do. Build drones. It's going to build a wall of spines. I, I, oh my god, SCV production startup. Still no orbital on the natural, guys. But we are going to see an armory. And now Void Stalker. Hellions versus Spinecrawlers. Look at the damage. 14 Hellions. Only takes six volleys to kill one spine crawler. Somehow the Hellion count has already been halved. I'm not sure how that works. The Widow Mines are cheering. Go, get them. Yeah. Beep boop. 1000001. 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Uh, for some reason, the Hellions are like, yeah, boss, can the Widow Mines do something other than just uh, fucking stand there? And no, they're going to they're gonna pull back and burrow. So Void Stalker still has not thought about the potential presence of another base here. Or here. Or here. Or here, or here, or here. Has, hasn't, oh, the Hellions are, oh, they're going to do a bit of a road trip. I think it's dawning on Void Stalker that something may be going amiss. Has decided also to go home and build one command center. Not quite the three I would have liked, but does find a bit. Oh, you've got drones here. Uh, you can see Salorn just built about 20 workers. A lot of those are about to disappear. There's actually a few roaches here. Of course, roaches, very good versus Hellions, but that's enough Hellions. They might actually just beat the roaches. Oh my god, Hellbats. Oh my god, Hellbats are going to destroy these roaches. The roaches. Oh shit, that's like 25 roaches. So Lorne just spent the entire mineral bank on roaches. The Hellbats gets just crushed. Um, those three Hellbats are going to try to waddle backwards. They're like, oh, let, maybe I can turn back into car form and get out. No, no. Now, Void Stalker, after losing the whole army, has decided, okay, maybe it's time to go home and macro. Or I could stare at those Widow Mines for a bit. Now I'm going to send three unupgraded marines across the map, and I'm going to queue. Just clicked on a barracks and queued up three marines. You you did not you did not miss see that guys. Three marines just got queued up manually out of that barracks. There are no control groups for those of you who don't know. By the way, no control groups at all. Uh, if we go to Salon, uh, Salon has all the hatcheries on a control group. So that's something. This is this is peak Starcraft, guys. Um, so Void Stalker got a really big advantage and is following it up by continuing to build units that aren't really good at anything. And he's going Hellbats into Roaches. Oh, I feel like Widow Mines might be able to win this, but this is not the thing. Unupgraded Marines and Hellbats rallying. Oh my god, this is... Oh no. You got... Oh. Alright, GG's. Um, that was a thing. The, 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 the mono battle worked. The Queen's held on. The 10 minute mark. Salon said, you know what? Let's double check. Was it, it was after, I'm pretty sure it was like 11 minutes when those first roaches built. Let's check. Yeah, yeah, there was, there was no other unit built until like the 12 minute mark when the roaches came out. So good, good job. Yeah. As always, just like any New Year's resolution, don't break it until at least a week into the new year, guys. And then it counts as you doing it. GG Salon. Uh, that was peak Starcraft. Um, hats off to you, buddy. <laughs> Good job building more queens than you ever intended uh, in 2020. GG, well played.